Hello Year 4, it has been lovely looking at all of your amazing maths work that you have done so far. Today we will be moving on to statistics and looking at how to use tables. This will be in page 141 in your maths books. Tables are a really useful way for organising and recording data. So here we have our table in our example. Before we begin, just want you to have a think about when you might use tables in real life. A few examples that I have thought of are when you might be at a bus stop, you use a table to find out when the bus is coming, or when you're at a football match, you might look at a table to check what the score is. So I'm just gonna go through the example to start with. It says, Martin records the number of birds he saw during the weekend in the table below. So we've got our days, Saturday and Sunday. Then we've got morning, afternoon and evening. So the first question is, how many birds did Martin see on Saturday afternoon? So if we want to find out how many birds Martin saw on Saturday afternoon, what we want to do is go along to Saturday and then we're going to go down to afternoon. And there we can find that it says 23. So he saw 23 birds on Saturday afternoon. And how about this one? In which time period did Martin see the least number of birds? So if we look at our whole table, it's asking for the least number of birds. So the least is our lowest number. And if we have a look, seven would be our lowest number. So the least number of birds he saw is seven. And this was on Saturday evening. So Saturday evening. Okay, so the first question that I'm going to go through with you is question one. So it says, what sport does Lucas do on a Thursday? Hmm, how do I find out what sport does Lucas do on a Thursday? Well, the two pieces of information I have are Lucas and Thursday. So what I want to do is I go along to Lucas and I go across to Thursday. And then I can see that it says Lucas does swimming on a Thursday. So go down to Lucas and across to Thursday. So my answer for question one would be swimming. Okay, the next question I'm going to go through with you is question six. So question six says, which two sports are only played by Emma and Aisha? So which two sports are only played by Emma and Aisha? So if we have a look at Aisha and we have a look at Emma, they both play hockey. And if you have a look, it says Ben and Lucas don't play hockey. So that might be one sport. And if we also have a look at the other sports they play, they also both play tennis. And Ben and Lucas don't play tennis. So the two sports that are only played by Emma and Aisha are hockey and tennis. Okay. So the next question I'm going to go over is question nine. And it says, which sport is only played on a Friday? So what I need to do is I need to look at all my days of the week. I need to find Friday. So go across to Friday. Which sport is only played on Friday? So on a Friday, they have football and they have tennis. Is football played on any other day? Hmm. Oh, football is played on a Monday. So it can't be football. And the other one is tennis. Is tennis, if we look at our whole table, is tennis played on any other day? No. So our answer must be tennis. 
sport that is only played on Friday would be tennis. Okay. The last... Oh. So the last question I'm going to go over is question 10. It says, copy out the table on the right and fill it in with the information above. So I've already printed out my table and you can do the same or you can draw yours out, it's up to you. So I'm gonna look at the information that I have and then I'm going to put it into my table. So my first bullet point says, Kalichi has a guitar lesson on a Friday and Saturday. So what I need to do is I find Kalichi and I go across to Friday and Saturday. So I've gone down to Kalichi and across to Friday and Saturday. And it says he has a guitar lesson. I'm just going to write G for guitar lesson on Friday and Saturday. My second bullet point says Chloe has a singing lesson on Saturday and Sunday. So I need to go down to Chloe, then I go across to Saturday and Sunday. And I'm going to put an S for singing. And then it says Bartek has a drumming lesson on Saturday and Sunday. So I need to find Bartek. I go down to Bartek and I go across to Saturday and Sunday. It says he has a drumming lesson, so I put a D. My last point says Analia has a singing lesson on Friday and Sunday. So that's my first point. So I go down to Analia. And I go across to Friday and Sunday. So I put singing for Friday and for Sunday. And then the second part says she also has a guitar lesson on Saturday. So I'm going to go down again for Analia and I'm going to go across to Saturday. And I'm going to put a G for guitar. And that's my whole table. You can also put the letters in, or you can also write the whole word out. It's up to you. Those are all of the questions that I'm going to go through. Well done for all your great work. If you need any support, just put a message on Teams or email one of us. Let me know.